The topic today is if you change for a thicker line width, can you print faster and is it stronger? After the mistake I made on the collapsing lightsaber, I wondered if I could print faster if I printed thicker single walls and would it be stronger? So for my test, I'm using a very simple 20 by 20 by 20 millimeter cylindrical tube. And as you can see here, I've got it set up to the standard 0.4 millimeter line width and I've got two lines you can see both lines over here in the image on the left and then you can see that it's a total of 17 minutes this does not include the warm-up time but if I go ahead up here and I change to a 0.8 millimeter line width and I come down and I change it to a single line and then I go ahead and I slice you're going to see that it is 10 minutes and you can see the single line up here on the left so that's seven minutes savings on the printing but is it stronger so the other thing is imagine this on a much larger scale the savings are going to be amplified so uh, if you stick around i will walk you through the test results for strength so prior to printing the lightsaber I never knew that you could print a significantly larger uh, line width than the width of the actual nozzle itself. So this is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and I went and printed a single wall that is 0.8 of a millimeter thick. So the question was, can we print faster and is it stronger? But before we get to that, we're just going to look at the accuracy of the thickness of the wall. And you can see it's a little bit over, it's 0.0 of, an, uh, of a millimeter over, and uh, it's pretty consistent. Then you're gonna look at the overall dimension of the cylinder itself. It was a 20 millimeter cylinder, and it's come out, it's just slightly under, it's nothing crazy, and I might be squeezing it a little bit, but it looks good, like the layer lines are pretty insignificant. It feels pretty rigid, and we're going to test out the strength in this vise momentarily. But before we do that, I'm just going to give you a little review. This is a dual wall, uh, 0.4 millimeter uh, wall thickness. And honestly, the finish, it seems like it's not quite as nice as that 0.8 millimeter uh, line uh, wall thickness. So, uh, but this one is dual wall of... 0.4 and so you can see we've come well, we've come just a little bit under uh, I'm surprised to see that but it's just a little bit under nothing crazy and then overall finish it is and that too well that's just a little bit undersized as well there's nothing uh, nothing crazy but uh, and it still looks good but now we're gonna find out which one is actually uh, stronger and that too can resist a fair bit but the proof will be in the pudding when I test it in the vise. Before we get to the strength results I used white overture PLA and if you were to buy a roll from the link in the description below it'll keep my wife in wine and keep her from killing me over the mess that I typically make. So here we are that's the single eight and I'm going to take this a quarter turn at a time. So here's the first quarter turn. That's one quarter. Now here's the second quarter turn. So that's the single wall. Now let's see what happens with the double wall. So that's the double wall, and it definitely did not hold up as well as the single 0.8 millimeter wall. So now here we go with the 8 millimeter wall, eight millimeter wall and I'll make sure to place the seam in the same position. So there's the seam on the inside. So this is the 0.8. So I'm going to put it in in this orientation so that the seam is facing me. There you have it. So let's have a look and see what happens with the double wall.
So the results are very similar in this orientation for both the 0.8 millimeter wall and the dual 0.4 millimeter wall. I did the same number of turns in the vise uh, squeezing the profile in this orientation but in my opinion the single wall appeared to the single wall appeared to hold up much better it's got a crack in it there but it seemed to hold up better than the double wall the double wall it actually broke through you know and in two places it broke through when it crumpled in conclusion the 0.8 millimeter single wall is stronger in one orientation uh, not so much in the other but it definitely prints faster when you consider the fact that the single wall will print in 10 minutes versus the dual wall in 17 minutes so these were 20 by 20 by 20 but imagine on a much larger scale how much time savings could be had between the 10 minutes and the 17 minutes if you stick around i'll show you where you can customize the settings of the line width in cura so i'd mentioned that i was going to share with you some customizations that you can try applying and that is if you come up here to the line width under quality in cura that's 0.4 but you can come down and you can say, oh, you know what? I want the outer wall line width to be 0.8 and all inner walls to be 0.4. You're gonna save some filament that way. If you want to take advantage of having an outer wall that's 0.8, you're gonna have to come down and change the wall line count. So you change it to one here. Usually it defaults out at two and here's the wall thickness. So that's one way that you can go and customize and have some strength and save some time. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, please consider liking and subscribing.